the Federal Government Accountability Office, GAO, is launching an investigation after U.S. Forest Service controlled burns that escaped caused the largest wildfire ever recorded in New Mexico. The GAO is examining controlled burn policies at the Forest Service and other federal land agencies. On May 20, USFS Chief Randy Moore halted also called prescribed fires on its land for a 90-day safety review. The New Mexico fire has burned more than 340,000 acres and is still not fully contained. But many fire ecologists and forestry experts are concerned that this pause is only worsening the wildfire risk. Critics say it's merely masking the agency's dangerously incremental, outdated and problematic approach to intentional burns and fire mitigation, a policy that has failed to adapt to climate change and mega drought. A lot of the planning tools that fire managers rely upon for planning prescribed burns. That's a systemic problem, he says. Controlled burns are seen by forest ecologists as perhaps the most essential tool for reducing the risk of catastrophic wildfire and helping to undo a century of fire suppression policy that has worsened wildfire conditions that now annually wreak havoc across large swaths in the West. Berto and others are concerned that the Forest Service, and other fire agencies, continue to fail to put climate change at the fore of decision making. Despite mounting scientific evidence and the agency's own stated goals about reducing dangerously high levels of built-up fuel in western forests. The Forest Service's recently released internal review of the New Mexico burn only magnifies those criticisms, as it amounts to a stunning admission by the agency that it essentially failed to take climate change into account when conducting an intentional burn during a historic drought. Numerous sections of the report underscore that point, including noting that prescribed fire officials failed to realize it was set under much drier conditions than were recognized. And it notes that a better understanding of long-term drought and climate factors versus short-term weather events. Never again should we have the excuse that we failed to include climate conditions and climate data in our fire management actions.